Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a more in-depth look at the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp Club. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So just a few days ago, the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp team announced a new optional paid subscription service for Animal Crossing Pocket Camp called Pocket Camp Club. We've already been over the announcement, but thanks to two new promotional videos uploaded today, we have a bit more of an idea of the features this service provides and whether or not they're actually worth the subscription fee. Pocket Camp Club currently offers two plans. The first is the Happy Helper plan. This plan allows us as campsite managers to select our favourite villager to be the campsite caretaker who will then complete all the tedious tasks around the campground that we either don't want to do or we have forgotten about. For example, if we miss a rotation or simply can't be bothered to speak to the animals, the campsite caretaker will complete the animal requests and collect rewards such as crafting material and bells on our behalf, which is pretty neat. The best part of this plan though is that the campsite caretaker will also follow us around to the vacation spots to assist with events by collecting gyrodite nuggets, fish and bugs amongst other things to help us complete the seasonal and event goals. On top of having our favourite animal following us around and helping out where they can, the Happy Helper plan provides 60 leaf tickets each month just for being a member. Now before we decide whether or not this is worth it, let's take a look at the second plan. The second plan offered as part of the Pocket Camp Club is the Cookie and Depot plan. This plan gives us access to a members only fortune cookie shop that looks to be filled with pretty much every cookie ever added to Pocket Camp. The catch here is we can only choose 5 cookies each month to have but the positive to take away here is that we now have access to old fortune cookies that have since been removed from the marketplace. The second feature of the cookie and depot plan is access to extra storage for our furniture and clothing items. This adds space for up to 5,000 extra items in our very own warehouses. Unfortunately, these warehouses appear to be more of an organised inventory rather than a physical location. Personally, I was really hoping we'd get another area to drop our billion items, but it doesn't look like we are. Anyway, this plan is definitely targeted more towards the collectors out there. Again, before we decide whether or not these plans are worth it and who they're most suited for, it's worth mentioning that both these plans allow members to craft things much quicker. The example in the video shows an amenity that usually takes 24 hours to build can be completed in just 30 minutes. On top of quicker crafting times, both plans include access to a new Animal Crossing journal, which includes exclusive content, news, character stories and birthdays, as well as sneak peeks at upcoming events and items. So no matter which plan you choose, you'll have access to both of these bonus features. Now let's get into what you really came here for. Are these subscriptions worth the money? Well, yes and no. The Happy Helper plan costs $2.99 per month. So based on what we know so far, if like me you're a bit of a slacker and willingly miss rotations or only just 100% complete events, the Happy Helper plan is definitely for you. Furthermore, if you already buy at least 60 leaf tickets a month using in-app purchases, then it's definitely worth it. In fact, it costs exactly the same to subscribe to this plan than it does to outright purchase 60 leaf tickets. So if you're doing that already, you may as well subscribe and get the extra help from a villager for free. Of course, if you don't buy leaf tickets and don't care about animal requests, then this is not for you. The cookie and depot plan costs $7.99 per month and is pretty much the same. If you're a hardcore collector and somehow manage to get 10 of each item and your current storage is maxed out, then you could benefit from the extra storage space and the ability to organise things a bit more. Furthermore, if you're regularly buying at least one cookie box or five individual cookies per month, it's actually around $2 cheaper to subscribe to the cookie and depot plan to get your hands on those five cookies than it is to outright purchase leaf tickets in order to obtain five cookies cookies. So again, if you're already buying five cookies per month using purchased leaf tickets, you may as well subscribe and get approximately one free cookie and the extra storage space for free. Of course, if you don't care whatsoever about cookies and you only have one of each item saved in your inventory, this plan is probably not for you. So yeah, there are definitely fours and against for both of these plans. The Happy Helper plan offers a one month free trial, so we can all test this out for ourselves, get some bonus leaf tickets and have our favorite villager follow us around before we make a decision. Plus with both plans being a subscription service, we can cancel at any time if we do find it's not what we expect or we change our minds. 
So yeah, hopefully this has made things a bit clearer and gives you a good idea whether or not this is worth it for you. The Pocket Camp Club should be available from tomorrow in most time zones and no doubt we'll have even more information to go through then. I will most likely subscribe to both plans just to give you guys a better idea of what this adds to the game, just so you can see, but after that I'll probably cancel the Cookie and Depot plan. I already buy the Golden Fishing Rod every tourney, so the Happy Helper plan is worth it for me. Unfortunately, unless the warehouses in the Depot plan turn out to be the actual locations, I don't think I'll continue with that. Anyway, sorry if this was a bit long winded, but I think we just about covered it all. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. As always, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, you guys truly rock. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too, I'd really like to see some of you guys over there. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment Happy Helper, just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome, and please be sure to include which villager your helper would be. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining, please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.